Yes, thank you very much for hanging out with us until this time right here. This is why in the morning, my name is Bai Moses or it's Bai Moses Show me the platform. As I said at the beginning, this is Wednesday. Uh, but this one, I uh, took a different twist right there. For queens to exist uh, peacefully, we need gentlemen. We need well-raised uh, fathers. We need uh, well-raised uh, brothers. We need well-raised spouses. That's why we have next-gen uh, fathers in the building. Karibu san. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. much. All right. Uh, I love the energy already. Your camera yeah. is number four. All right. Uh, so uh, maybe we can start with you. Introduce yes. yourself. Mm -hmm. Hi. My name is uh, Mark Leon Kabale. Uh -huh. And um, I serve at Next Gen Fathers mm -hmm. as the head of administration. Head of administration at yes. Next Gen Fathers. Yeah. All right. How about you? All right. My name is Dennis Musau. Uh -huh. A pleasure to be here. Uh -huh. I'm the Thank programs coordinator. Uh -huh. Programs coordinator. Yeah. Uh, so remind me the title again. Head of administration. Head of administration, and programs, programs coordinator. coordinator. Yeah. They, they almost mean the same thing in my head. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, but you're going to break it down. Yeah, for we will. Too. All right. Uh, so, next gen is uh, by definition next generation fathers. Yes, true. All right. So, this is basically uh, something to prepare us to be good dads. Yeah. Yeah. To our daughters and sons. Okay. Uh -huh. If I can How's shed more uh -huh. light. Okay, so next gen fathers. Uh -huh is an organization mm -hmm. that has come up under the vision mm -hmm. of transforming the boy child mm -hmm. into a refined man, mm -hmm. right? Transforming the boy child into a, to refined, a refined man. man. Yeah, and refined okay. is an acronym uh -huh. uh, to mean responsible, uh -huh. ethical, uh -huh. God-fearing, mm -hmm. um, integral, uh -huh. noble, uh -huh. eloquent, and uh, diligent. Integral is a, is a problem in the 254. It is a big problem. <laughs> <laughs> but we are going to solve it. Yeah. All right. So who comes? Uh, who is in charge of the, the communication? It's very good. We came up with the acronyms and the language. <laughs> yeah, we did. All right. Did. Both of us. Oh, both of you. Yeah. It's very, it's very amazing yeah. how you present uh, the agenda at hand. So how will, how, how, will, how is the organization structured? Yes, mm -hmm. the organization is structured. Um, it has a board mm -hmm. um, that uh, the board has a representative now who helps run the organization, who is mm -hmm. a patron. Mm -hmm. In corporate terms, it could be called like executive director. Mm -hmm. And then now there is us who are more or less like the managing mm -hmm. um, uh, directors now here mm -hmm. on the ground, where we now manage a group of uh, um, staff, but mm -hmm. also volunteers because the mm -hmm. organization works with uh, mostly volunteers right. who it's have a, a non profit it's a non profit yeah. organization all right yes uh, so uh we have the administration and then we have people who run the operation that's true all right what are some of the activities that you have going on under next gen uh fathers now that we know what the agenda is yeah mm -hmm. okay so predominantly in the last two years mm -hmm. we've ventured to engage in mentorship exercises mm -hmm. in the community mm -hmm. um last year we we had a tournament mm -hmm. in Kibera. Mm -hmm. Big tournament had like 16 schools mm -hmm. show up and it was primary a or secondary primary, primary. Uh -huh. It was a platform for us to get our name in the ground, mm -hmm. you know, and as we are there get to interact with some of these boys mm -hmm. in the in the spaces, in the comfort of their spaces mm -hmm. and get to hear out some of the challenges they are going mm -hmm. through and how we can we can address those. We've also mm -hmm. uh, done some camps. Mm -hmm. Basically we, we go to schools mm -hmm. when schools are out mm -hmm. and then we, we lease the facility mm -hmm. to be able to have camps mm -hmm. in-house, right? All right, because so they already have classes, they, they already, already have classes, they have boards, they, uh -huh. have, they have everything we need, fields. Uh -huh. So we've, we've partnered with Lepic last year, uh -huh. we partnered with Kilimani uh -huh. uh, Primary School uh -huh. the previous year, uh -huh. and, and that's more or less our aim. All right, so you have camps, you have tournaments, you have activities that uh, the boys enjoy. Yeah. Uh, just you use them to reach, uh, to reach the boys. Yeah. Okay, so what are some of these uh, things that we were doing wrong, that next gen came in uh, to try to correct yeah. in raising our boys. That's right. Um, I wouldn't say that this is, uh, uh, it's not something that we were doing wrong. Mm -hmm. It's something that has been done wrong for a very long time. Mm -hmm. For generations. For generations. Uh -huh. And again, when we talk about next gen fathers, it's the ne we're looking at the next generation. So we want to impact the next generation of those fathers so we start with the moral fabric mm -hmm. the moral fabric in our society has been uh, affected really mm -hmm. especially because of the families um, the family unit not being first of all led mm -hmm. by men mm -hmm. because number one there's no um, uh, male role models mm -hmm. access to mm -hmm. um, as well as uh, um, just even interaction for the boy child mm -hmm. with um, godly male role models mm -hmm. because that is the first step then right. another thing that as, as well is wrong 
is that again the there's a kind of oblivion about mm -hmm. mentorship mm -hmm. in our society we don't see the value of mentorship um, to us as mm -hmm. individuals but again as to us as men because then that means there's no environment for men to be able to be guided directed and led in a certain way mm -hmm. so then it's because your development as a person mm -hmm. as a man mm -hmm. relates to your environment mm -hmm. you know and again um, lastly it's there's a passivity that we have noticed mm -hmm. us as men we're and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a man included as mm -hmm. well. Yes. <laughs> there's a yeah. passivity. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, there's a passivity in our society uh -huh. today that uh, we are not taking our roles up as men. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like we forgot our roles. We are not taking responsibility. We're not, yeah. resp we're not taking responsibility. Uh -huh. We're not uh, showing examples of integrity. Uh -huh. We're not showing examples of leading. Uh -huh. And we're not showing really the example of what it is to become a man. All right. So next gen is here uh, to try fill that gap. Yes. And to try to influence uh, some change. That's true. All right. I, I, I like that part right there. Uh, so uh, uh, growing up, you know, <coughs> uh, the, there are certain things as, uh, as a boy yes. you're easily attracted to, you know. Uh, personally, my role models were rappers. Yeah. Because uh -huh, my dad wasn't cool enough. For yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, my friends were a very big influence to me because those are the people I spend most of the time, time with. with. That's right. All right. So uh, moving forward yes. as men, how do you make a child see <laughs> his father <laughs> as a cool person yeah. <laughs> and look up to the dad yeah. or look up to some responsible guy? Yeah. When I have Lil Wayne, when I have Jay-Z to look up to, yeah. with chains and everything <laughs> that I want. Very interesting question. Uh -huh. I relate with you. Uh -huh. I grew up literally next to the radio and uh -huh. next to the beat. <laughs> yes. You know? Uh -huh. And uh, I think music and football are the things that I guess mm -hmm. um, nurtured me in uh -huh. my boyhood. Uh -huh. And you see, there's already a problem right there. Mm -hmm. You ask the question of how do we see, um, how do we make the child see their dad uh -huh. as a cool person, right? Uh -huh. But even, even in terms of our MO as next gen fathers, uh -huh. we want to impact the next generation of fathers uh -huh. so that we are not fixing the boy to see the dad as cool. Uh -huh. We're trying to create the dad uh -huh. to be as impactful to the child uh -huh. so that they can communicate that coolness uh -huh. to them in the first place. Uh -huh. So you see, the problem is not the child who's not seeing at the dad at school, uh -huh. but perhaps the dad doesn't know how to model himself uh -huh. to the boy, right? To reach the boy. To, reach the, to connect with the boy, to, to communicate with the boy. Because right. again, it's not wrong to mm. like rappers. It's mm -hmm. not wrong to like football, right? Uh -huh. But it's you, you're, uh, the dad's responsibility to realize uh -huh. what is my kid into, uh -huh. right? And as you, as you learn them that way, uh -huh. you're able to influence them uh -huh. in the positive side of uh -huh. those things that they're into. Oh, right. Uh, see, what's cool and what's not. Yeah, because ideally everything is good uh -huh. until you misuse it. So that's really too much. Exactly. That's really maybe the challenge. All right. I like. Yeah. Uh, so uh, there's a, there has been a lot of focus on the guy, girl child. Right. Uh, so many non-profit organizations, so many fans directed towards the girl child. But people have always forgotten about the boy child. Mm. So why do you think the boy child was forgotten in the first place? Do you think we had some form of advantage before yeah. uh, that made uh, people, uh, let's focus on the girl child so they can catch up, or people just think we are hardened, yeah. we should survive? Well, yeah. One word comes to mind, mm -hmm. uh, this word patriarchy, uh -huh. you know, yeah. uh, it's like male has been the dominant species mm -hmm. since well. time in memorial. Right. Mm -hmm. you've, I don't know if you've ever had this conversation of why was there no female disciple, you mm -hmm. know? <laughs> <laughs> like in, in those arguments, it mm -hmm. goes to that extent, right? Uh -huh. So there's that perception that then mm -hmm. men have been the dominant mm -hmm. uh, gender since mm -hmm. uh, forever, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think when the campaign for the girl child came, mm -hmm. I think it was in response to men are dominating so much of mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. and we'd like to see a balance mm -hmm. because we recognize that mm -hmm. women have as much to offer if not mm -hmm. more right? right and i feel like so that was the spirit with which mm -hmm. uh, the girl child campaign came up right so from experience we agree that uh, focusing on one thing uh, trying to balance it with the other yeah. is not the the right path we should focus on both and see uh, how to balance how to balance yeah. yeah that's right i mean mm -hmm. you make you make a very good point a balance has to be struck uh -huh. because again the 
issues in our society today uh -huh. are because our families are not strong. Uh -huh. And you see, when you empower one side of the family, uh -huh. a family is made out of, you know, two, a man and a woman. Uh -huh. You know, if you empower only the woman, mm -hmm. that means the man is going to lag behind his responsibilities. His, mm -hmm. What he needs to do is not actually met. Mm -hmm. So that means, uh, you know, if we the girl child has yes been empowered mm -hmm. and so many things are being done for the girl child to be empowered which i think is abs absolutely fantastic mm -hmm. what does that leave the boy child it means that then um even in different communities like here in africa there's some parts especially even here in kenya mm -hmm. where boys even have abandoned education because what they have to go into the farms yeah, and to go to, to go and provide mm -hmm. and you see that notion I, I mean that environment has been created mm -hmm. that now if even a young man isn't educated, mm -hmm. a young man isn't mentored, isn't seeing examples of how he can be able to mm -hmm. become a real man mm -hmm. and a refined man, then definitely there is an issue that is created in the family unit. All right. So there's a theory that uh, goes around on social media, Twitter philosophers, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you know them. They say, they claim that uh, leaders are a representation of, of, a, people. of a people. Our leaders, we have seen the way the they behave, yeah. especially uh, during uh, when they want to increase their salaries and when they want to, <laughs> <laughs> to get it. We have seen yeah. uh, what they do. Uh, so, uh, first, yes or no? Do you think they are a reflection of what is happening at Kwagrao? I believe so. They I believe are. leaders are a representation of the people. So, that is how we are as, as Kenyans. Yeah. Parliament is just a small representation a of what Kenya is. Yeah. You know, we just have to be sincere with ourselves mm -hmm. and sincerely, introspectively evaluate. Yeah. Even if you were to evaluate yourself, mm -hmm. you'll see some traits mm -hmm. that are being manifested in the leadership mm -hmm. that are very much alive in you. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. it's just that yours are not magnified right. or, or we don't get to, <laughs> okay. to bring the limelight so to you. <laughs> we agree, integrity is a problem. It, it is. is. Uh, oppressing women is a problem. It, it is. is. Uh, what else is is that? We we have not reached the third. Yeah, greed is and a problem. Greed is a greed problem. Is a problem. Yeah. Identity is a problem. Identity yeah. is a problem. Yeah. So we have a lot of problems as yeah. a country, yeah. and we need to solve them from ground up. Exactly. Wow. Many Wonderful. of the mm -hmm. sorry, many of the issues are being solved from the top coming down. Uh -huh. I don't think that is the best. That way. is not. It the doesn't way. work. Like it doesn't that. work like that. We that start we from down. Start from the grassroots. Uh -huh handle the issue from the root uh -huh. then that's when a tree can be able to pop up don't handle the branches up there uh -huh. because right. the root won't be affected because uh, parliament is only 400 and something that's right. but the population is 40 million yeah, if we right. can correct 40 billion we definitely can correct that's true wonderful white five four channel on twitter white five four underscore channel on instagram and white five four on facebook is the way to interact with us we have a question for you uh, should the man be the provider in a relationship. It's not a marriage, uh, it's just a relationship in general. It could be a relationship, it could be uh, engagement like my brother here. <laughs> it could be just uh, the first week of dating. Should be the man, should the man be the provider? We have guys from Next Gen uh, Fathers in Studio right here and they're here to shed light on what uh, we need for this next generation of fathers. All right, so as we uh, sum things up, uh, huh. Do you have any activities coming up soon? That's right. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, just to point out that our activities have mainly been physical activities. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, the pandemic has um, caused that opportunity to be able to meet physically, mm -hmm. um, not to be possible. However, um, we, of course, had to take the next step and see how can we go online mm -hmm. and um, still keep on what we're doing and our mandate. Uh -huh. So, of course, now we have mentorship programs that uh, uh, we are actually doing online and we want to actually keep on doing mm -hmm. at the moment for the students who are at home mm -hmm. because most of the people who come um, um, uh, go through our programs are students mm -hmm. um, going through school. But again, even um, we understand now that in March mm -hmm. uh, and April next year is when exams will be done. Because mm -hmm. normally at the end of the year, we have what we call Boys to Men, which is the initiation program, mm -hmm. um, circumcision. So we mm -hmm. take um, young boys through mm -hmm. that process b as well. Show them that this is not, this is just a surgery. All right. <laughs> it's, it's not really being a man. We okay. now teach you. <laughs> this is a medical <laughs> teach procedure. You, yeah. Yes, it's just a medical procedure, but we now teach the young men to be able to now, um, some of the traits and things about young men. Uh -huh. But then again, also we have what we call making of men camps. Uh -huh. And as well, we'll also have now those physical camps. We have some okay. pictures right here of your previous events. Yeah. Maybe we can 
uh, touch on some of them. You tell me what was going on, because yes. uh, I'm pretty sure <laughs> so many mothers are watching right now, <laughs> and so many sons have become a pain True. at home, True. especially the last seven months. Yes. Uh, so what was going on here? This was the camp we had at Lepic last year. Uh -huh. It was a very in intense camp. Uh -huh. Like we were able to take boys through some interesting experiences. Uh -huh. uh, in the Shamba, I don't know if uh -huh. you have those pictures, we took them to the Shamba uh -huh. to see some cows, some uh -huh. chicken, chase chicken down. Uh -huh. We were able to, this is team building, uh -huh. just showing them how to work together as a team uh -huh. and all that. Usually very interactive uh, programs. All yeah. right, I yeah. like. Can we get more pictures, please, as yeah. they find the other pictures? Uh, so we, another problem we have in this country is classes. That's right. Yes. Uh, people uh, tend to be, uh, people are always chasing the next class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are always working uh, to be in the next class. Yeah. And people are always dim discriminated against a uh, cause of According class. to what you have. According to what you have. Is yeah. this something that you're also trying uh, to, to, to curb yeah. in the process? I'll, I'll, I'll attach that uh -huh. to the issue of identity. Like uh -huh. I said, there's a problem of identity. Mm -hmm. And I think classici classicism is an aspect of that uh, identity crisis, mm -hmm. right? Because as an individual, as a man, you're not defined mm -hmm. by what you have. Mm -hmm. You're not defined by the job you have, mm -hmm. the car you drive. Mm -hmm. None of that defines uh -huh. you, right? And I believe that identity stems from the issue of faith uh -huh. and the issue of just ha knowing yourself through the lens of God and right. what God created you to be and who God created you to be. All right. And you see, once you embrace that uh -huh. and that settles in you uh -huh. as your identity, uh -huh. you see then classism isn't an issue anymore because it's not going to affect it's not you an issue anymore. it doesn't matter if i have right. plenty and you don't have uh -huh. my responsibility then is to share you know okay if if so i'm once i know myself whether yeah. i'm high class or low class That's right. it's not going to affect it, it won't affect way. you because yeah. you now know because every every opportunity you have uh -huh. every blessing you have is god's way of putting you in a position to uplift someone right. putting you in a position to impact someone else but you see classicism is what comes to use that opportunity to discriminate uh -huh. rather than empower. Wow. You see. Take your son to the next next gen uh, father's camp That's for right. gems like this. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys, for coming through. Before we finish, everybody's pushing an agenda. Yeah. Uh, Kenyan artists are pushing an agenda. Play KE music, KE yeah. music to the world. Yeah. Uh, in the process, we compromise a lot uh, in terms of moral. Uh, as long as it has views on YouTube, yes. let's push Kenyan music. Yeah. Uh, in the process, we have so many people pushing agendas. How do you make yours stand out? I'd like to know that. Your agenda. Your agenda as next-gen fathers, next fathers, yes. Fathers. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Uh -huh. First of all, as I mentioned to you, the issues are core. Uh -huh. And we are clear on what the issues we want to solve, um, which is about connecting the boy child uh -huh. to um, godly male role models. Uh -huh. So we connect and provide that environment for them to be able to interact with them. Mm -hmm. Number two, we also provide a platform for intentional mentorship. Uh -huh. What does this lead to? Accountability. Uh -huh. That leads to, as well, um, you as a boy growing up and developing uh -huh. over the time and the period that we'll be working with you and especially with our team of mentors. Uh -huh. um, you have that sense of a kind of backing of a mentor or someone who you can look up to uh -huh. and keep on just engaging with on some of the issues of life that you're going with. Because in real sense, everybody's going through something. That's everybody. right. And we'll always be going through We'll something. always go through something. Uh -huh. And yeah. we always need something to fall back on. Yeah. That's right. And that is hope, faith. Uh, what else is left? <laughs> love. <laughs> love. Yeah. Love is very important. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yes, another important thing is Lewis Ocon. <laughs> graduated. Uh, certificate of achievement. This was the this, this was a tournament, tournament at Kibera. Oh, this was the tournament at Kibera. Yeah. He was actually, I think, he was, I think, one of the top scorers. All right. Yeah, he was actually a top scorer. Larry um, Sokol has a here. Yeah, yeah he yeah. is a very big feature. And again, as well, we look at this and we see this young man, Lewis Sokoth, has a dream, uh -huh. but he doesn't know perhaps how to realize this uh -huh. kind of dream. Uh -huh. But we want to be able to connect him with such people who can be able to help him realize his dream, uh -huh. see it clearly, and see that, by the way, this is something possible, irrespective of my circumstances of where I'm at. All right. Wow, thank you very much for this, and keep doing what you're doing. Thanks. We appreciate it so much. Uh, Ask us your question. Which question? <laughs> 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 yes, you've been waiting, Vanessa. So since you've been waiting so much, yes. you're going to answer last. <laughs>
All right. Should a man... Oh, what was happening here before I asked that question? <laughs> this is the team now. Mentors, uh -huh. mentors teachers, uh -huh. board, some of the board members. Oh, All right. Members. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I see you have ladies also in the, in the clique right here. Indeed. And yeah. ladies who train next generation fathers, I'm pretty sure, have very high standards. Yeah. <laughs> very high. Indeed. Okay, shout out to them. Uh -huh. And uh, you can say shout outs later. Uh, yes. But should a man be the provider in a relationship? Okay. Um, mm -mm, mm -mm. You're going like, oh, since your like, experience. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, that's right. Um, it's, it's, it's a big, of course, contentious issue. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think I'm also, just like our previous guest, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a bit traditional as well. Uh -huh. That yes, I agree, yes, the man should be the provider. But what does that mean? Mm -hmm. Does it mean that you should have all the time? Mm -hmm definitely you're going to lack sometimes. Mm -hmm. I believe a balance should be struck, especially uh -huh. we're going into a, gen we're actually in a generation and a time uh -huh. where ladies have been empowered as well mm -hmm. and have sources and streams of income. Uh -huh. So does it mean that my money is mine and your money is my, yours? Me, uh, my <laughs> sisters and I, we went to school the same <laughs> hours of the day. Yeah. Uh, we were given the, we went to the same school. She yeah. was not taken to a different school yeah. from me. Uh, after school, we went to university <laughs> together. So, yeah, so there's no difference other. between, the, the opportunities were the same. That's yeah. true. Uh, so I don't understand how I should be the one. <laughs> Who should? <laughs> to, uh, to okay. provide. Yes, but that is just me. Let me get back to you. I will flip the script and say, mm -hmm. the man should be the provider. Uh -huh. But my question is, what are you providing as a man? <laughs> I feel like the, we are so dominant on looking at the financial side mm -hmm. and forgetting that there's a designated responsibility uh -huh. for the man uh -huh. as the provider. Uh -huh. And that's a God-given role uh -huh. which cannot be shared, uh -huh. right? So you provide leadership. Uh -huh. You provide direction. Uh -huh. You provide vision. Uh -huh. You provide support, uh -huh. right? And with these things, uh -huh. it is immaterial whether uh -huh. you're the one with the money or she's the one with the money. Right. It's right. immaterial. Good. So there are things that are bigger than cash. Yeah. yeah. And, the, the and, and that responsibility and is the yours. And the fundamental. Uh -huh. The fundamental. Money is important. Uh -huh. People say that money is not important. It is important. However, what he's just mentioned is uh -huh. as well equally important. Like Mike Rua said, he's only fundamental. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much, guys, for coming Thanks. through. Thank we you. appreciate you so much. Thank you for How can they catch you on social media so they can keep up with you? I'm pretty sure our tutor is Sumbwa Sana the past seven months. <laughs> Okay, uh, mm -hmm. thank you so much for hanging out with us. We are on social media, uh, Next Gen Fathers on Instagram, on Facebook, so you can interact with us. Yeah. We will have uh, even a YouTube channel coming mm -hmm. up, and we can be able to just have some interesting conversations mm -hmm. and have you guys at home even connect with us and let us know what is your pain point mm -hmm. and how can we work together towards mm -hmm. alleviating some of that uh, pain. All right, all right. We, no, we normally just say, give us your boy mm -hmm. and we'll give you back a refined man. Eish, we have that one. Uh, this is off the record. Okay. Does Ole Gunnar have a future? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. as, as proud as of us, as proud as we as like what Ole Gunnar is doing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for coming through to I in the Morning. It has been a good time. Uh, so find Next Gen Fathers on social media so you, we can transform this country from the grassroots level a step at a time. We have so many problems. All it takes is time. All it takes is TZ. My name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moon Social Media. We'll be back with some more of Social Fred. Queen's Wednesday, rather. <laughs>